Hi, I'm Samar Shams. I'm an immigration and global mobility partner at Spencer West, and I'm here with Anna. Hi, I'm Anna Asumedu, an immigration and global mobility paralegal at Spencer West. Today, Anna and I are going to talk a bit about the high potential individual visa. This is a visa type that was introduced at the end of May of this year, 2022. Um, in the UK. So it's been running a few months now, and we thought it might be worth um, giving some information about how it's operating on the ground. Anna, do you want to summarize some of the main requirements? Yes, um, thank you, Samar. So there are some main requirements that you must meet if you're applying for the high potential individual visa. And one is the global mobility so global universities list degree requirements. And with this requirement, um, you, an applicant must have been awarded an overseas degree level academic qualification from an institution that appears in the global universities list published by the Home Office. And this degree must be awarded in the five years immediately before the application. There is another requirement, which is the English language requirement. So for this requirement, you can rely on the same degree um, that you use to fulfill um, the global university list degree requirement, but your degree has to be taught in English. And um, otherwise, if you're not relying on the same degree to fulfill both the Uni um, global university list degree requirements and the English language requirement, you must um, provide one of um, these lists I'm about to um, mention to prove your English language ability. And um, they include a UK degree certificate and um, you can also rely on a degree certificate for a course that was taught in English outside the UK. And you can also demonstrate your English language ability by passing a secure English language test with an approved provider. And um, lastly, you can demonstrate this English language ability by being a national of a country recognized by the UK as being majority English speaking. There is also um, a financial or maintenance requirement, and I will leave it to Samar to go into detail. Thanks, Anna. Yeah, I think it is worth um, talking a bit about the financial or maintenance requirement um, because the uh, documentation that's required to uh, evidence that you have sufficient funds to maintain and accommodate yourself in the UK uh, is very specific. So it's an area where a lot of applicants might trip up. So the maintenance Maintenance requirement is that you have to evidence that you've held at least 1,270 pounds in cash or um, the equivalent in another currency um, for 28 days uh, before submission of your application. And the way the Home Office will assess the documentation is to look at the end date of the most recent bank statement uh, the most recent bank statement has to be dated within 31 days of the date that you submit your application. Um, and they will look at the end date of that bank statement and count back 28 days. On each of those 28 days, you must have held at least 1,270 pounds um, or the equivalent in cash. Your, the amount must not have dipped below 1,270 or you won't meet the requirement. So it is very specific. Those are the basics of the high potential individual visa route. Uh, I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, please do get in touch. My email address is samar, S-A-M-A-R dot shams, S-H-A-M-S at spencer hyphen west dot com. Thanks so much for listening today. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.